Hey guys, I'm Kelly with fitnessblender.com and today I have kind of a strange vlog. It's almost a sort of confession, I guess. I just felt like I wanted to come out about how incredibly moderate and sometimes lazy I am about my own exercise and eating habits. So I think that for some reason a lot of people think that you have to be really militant about both your workouts and your eating patterns in order to look and feel and be fit. And I really don't think that's true. Um, I'm not saying I'm like the, the picture of fitness or the picture of health or anything like that, but I do all right for myself. I very easily maintain a healthy body weight. I am getting older and I'm still gaining cardio endurance and I'm still getting stronger than ever and my flexibility is still improving. So I feel like I'm doing all right. Um, I'm happy, I feel good, but I wanted to tell you guys that I, I don't, I, I mean, I work out probably three to six times a week, depending on how I'm feeling, and those workouts go from 30 to 50 minutes, maybe, max. I'm not working out every day. I don't even work out five days a week, necessarily. I work out the way that I feel like working out, so if I don't feel good or if I don't feel up to a HIIT workout or strength workout, I always listen to my body. There's no time when I experience pain or fatigue where I'm just like, yeah, suck it up and just push through it. And because of that, I love working out. I haven't made myself hate working out. So that's just one perspective. Um, but on the eating and nutrition front as well, I don't count calories anymore. I finally ditched that habit after a lifetime of counting calories and it's gone and I have never been happier in that department. It's a different story. I don't count calories, I don't count macros, I don't measure anything, I don't track anything, I don't have anything that I can't eat or anything that I have to eat. There are no rules or restrictions. Um, I eat any time of the day that I want. And even in terms of the way that I eat, you know, like it's not, again, there are no rules here. There are no ha hard and fast rules. So, I mean, I just, I see a lot of questions from people like, is bread bad? Is dairy bad? Is cheese bad? Can I eat beans? Can I eat, you know, can, can I have chocolate at night? And I mean, a lot of these questions, I feel like you should turn the question around on yourself. How do these things make you feel? Do you feel any better or worse after you eat a piece of toast? Do you feel any better or worse after you eat chocolate? So my, I guess my main point is there are things that you can do to feel and be healthier. So I definitely recommend a diet, you know, high in fruits and vegetables, eat as minimally processed as possible, you know, fresh whole foods. But I, I don't think that you should be organizing your entire life to look a certain way. Um, it's just a really slippery slope. You know, we have Instagram on the, and the internet and all these different things and fitness is, is in right now and that's, that's excellent actually that people are getting excited about their fitness and their health but I see a lot of people kind of taking it too far to where it's consuming their thoughts, it's consuming all of their time and instead of working out and eating well to live a better life, they're structuring their entire life around you know, hitting their certain macros or working out for X amount of time a day. And so I just, I feel like I just wanted to take a minute to encourage you to do what you need to, to feel good and to make choices that make you feel healthy, but to be careful that you're not living your entire life around those habits. Personally, I, I eat a lot of fruits. I, I eat a lot of vegetables. I eat whole grains. I eat a lot of beans and nuts and I eat lean meats, I eat as minimally processed as possible. However, I love cheese and I love, I love beer, I love champagne and wine, I, I drink um, in moderation, I enjoy adult beverages, uh, I love pizza, I love a good hamburger, I love bread, I mean, and none of these things are off limits to me. I, I eat a predominantly healthy diet 
and then I can enjoy those indulgences in moderation. And I think, ironically, that when you lift those bans and those restrictions, they actually become much less desirable. So I think that not everyone works the same, and this is my personal experience, and it is important to know that, that I am not your personal healthcare physician. However, for a lot of people, there's a lot of people out there, the second that you put a restriction on something, it becomes a hundred times more appealing. So to lift all of those really strict rules and regulations and just that kind of militant attitude towards either diet or exercise might end up making you enjoy both of them that much more. So trying to live intuitively, trying to eat so that you feel good, trying to exercise so that you feel good, and just kind of playing with the variables, seeing what makes you feel the most energetic and the most, you know, like which one is easiest for you to do, which one makes you feel best and is most close to something so natural that you almost don't have to think about it. And this is, this is a tricky thing because if you were just getting started, um, you will have to apply some discipline and you will have to find, you know, make hard, like fruits and vegetables might not taste that great to you right out of the gate. If you're used to eating packaged foods that are hyper flavored and loaded with sodium, you're gonna look at some of these whole foods dishes and be like, meh, maybe not so much. So when you're getting started, it's important to um, practice that discipline and to apply yourself and, you know, kind of hold on, wait it out for those you know, for your taste buds to calm down and for your muscles that maybe you haven't been using these muscles in these workouts for years. So, you know, maybe you will dread your workouts in the beginning, but eventually it should be something that you don't only not dread or struggle with, but that also might even be something that you look forward to. My main point is just to encourage you to consider that you don't have to have an extreme routine or extreme habits in order to see great results. Finding that midline of more moderate habits where it isn't a stretch and it comes to you easily is how you get into that point where it's sustainable and you find results and you keep them for the rest of your life. So I encourage you to look at your own habits and your own mindset and try to find that place where what you're doing makes you feel good and it feels like second nature. Otherwise, I would love to hear what you guys think about this and if you have had any kind of experience that's the same, speak up. Thank you for tuning in and I will see you soon for a new workout. So I'm going to do what it takes to feel good. Here comes babe. Hi babe. There's babe. Hi. <laughs>